Bring some wood for the fire. Oh. Yeah. Wait, so like what are you doing? <laughs> Licking the ice. Oh man, what if your face sticks to the ice? Oh, mace. <laughs> your face is gonna stick. How clear it is. You can see the rocks and plants right there. Okay. Max? You're like a seal sliding on the ice. What are you doing, Max? Shoveling. Yeah, how come? Because we're going skating. Hey guys, if we're gonna make a fire to cook lunch, I need you to help come and bring the wood over. Think you can come help? You ready to help? Bring some wood for the fire? Okay. Can you do this one? Can you take one of those big ones each? See these big ones here, Mace? Are you stepping on mine? Just start dragging them over there, okay? We're gonna cook lunch on the fire for people. We need to make a fire. Okay, so keep coming back. There's lots more. I'm gonna keep getting more. Do one at a time. Mace, how about this big huge one? Think you can take it? Oh. Can, you, can you take it? Yeah. All right. Um, there's a stack here, you can grab some of these, as many of those as you can. Mm -hmm. See? And you, you need to make that little dot, keep shifting it around until that little dot gets as small as possible. The smaller that dot gets, the more intense it is, and that's what will make it burn. So just kind of rotate the magnifying glass a little bit here and there, move it up closer and further, and just find what makes it the smallest, tightest little dot. A little further away from the paper, rotate it a tiny bit, you got to find a tight little dot to make it work. So what do you think is the best thing to do now? I've got the log cabin started. So we put some paper in the middle of that, crumble up the paper in the middle, okay? Yep, you'll get a turn. Smush that down in there a bit, but not too tight, okay? Yeah. And now do you think we should put on real big pieces or lots of tiny little pieces? Okay, so let's grab lots of little pieces and probably get them to spread across. Yeah, we can throw them on, but we want them long enough that they go right across the log cabin too though, right? So we keep building the log cabin, but with lots of little tiny pieces. Yep, you want them to stretch all the way across. Yep, so they don't have to even be that tiny, they can be a bit bigger. Okay. Oh, I hear a roosty. Yeah, you can try to start the paper if you want, Matt. Yep, we we'll keep adding lots across, okay? Wait, is the sun like this? Yep, that's making a pretty good dot on it, see? You have to make that little dot. See where it is? It's over on the wood, Max. You got a little tiny dot. I'll show you after. Hey, let's get all the sticks on and then we can work on the dot together, okay? 
You'll get to in a sec, okay? Let's focus on the sticks first. Okay? Stick that in your pocket. Listen, guys, we're not gonna fight about it. We're both gonna try, okay? Max, can you help with the sticks, please? Yep, yep, just. I'm gonna need lots more little ones going across it still. Okay? We'll try to figure it out. Remember, you're gonna have to make it as small of a dot as you can. You're gonna have to keep the dot in like the exact same sp spot for as long as you can. Pretty tricky thing. Yeah, you're getting a nice dot. Keep it in the exact same spot until it starts to smoke on the paper. It takes a while. That's right, then it might turn to a flame. You have to make that dot get really small keep it in the exact same spot for a long time on the paper or on the fluffy part of the grass maybe. I haven't done this since I was a kid so I don't really even know how well it works. We've done it with Dad. Yeah? You got it to work? By doing this, making a small dot? I think you may need to try to make that into more of a dot. That's getting pretty good. Can you pull it a little further away from the paper? Okay, go a little closer. A little closer to the paper. The dot gets smaller and smaller. Can you tilt the magnifying glass a tiny bit? Try the other way. There you go. Go closer. Go further away. Go further away. A little more. Dot real small. Try that. Hold it right there if you can. Listen, I stuffed it in. I see some. Can you blow on it? <laughs> Not hard. Yeah. Not like this. Okay, blow on it. Make it go. Catch. That's annoying. No, don't, don't put snow on it, Mace. No, nothing. We don't want snow or ice on a fire that we're just trying to get started. That'll kind of do the opposite, right? I don't think that'll get it going. If anything, that'll stop it from going. Unfortunately, snow and ice don't really make fire go. Only stand on this side, so the wind is on your back. Don't go to the hot side. To the hot, sparky side. Yeah, that's probably enough for now. Stand on this side.